Hello everyone and welcome to Back Issues. I'm Tiffany. I'm Ethan. I'm Sal. And today is the first of our spooktacular Back Issues, Ooh. if we do more than this one. So today we are going to dive into a character, you already know who it is, or you saw the title, but like, for, give me the showmanship of it. Uh, today we're going to dive into a character that a lot of folk have wanted to see on this channel, and it's not Swamp Thing, but it does come from Swamp Thing. Um, it famously known as a DC book that ended up in the vertical line, uh, had a movie, had a show, the show was canceled, it's <laughs> like been all over the place, Bebop and Scatton had a 300 issue run back Jeez. in the day with Vertigo, has had other series since then. He's a bastard in a trench coat and also a magician. Of course, I'm talking about John <laughs> Constantine Hellblazer. Um, now some people are like, but Tiffany, why wouldn't you just start with this book, Original Sins? Well, this is a great book and it's a great place to start. Um, which is why we're not going to do which it. Which is why, well, no, it's a good place to start if you're interested in beginning, beginning and getting, and like, you know, just starting with John from the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right, this is written by Jamie Delano, this one. Is that actually the first this Hellblazer is the, book, or is, is it first, like the first okay, so of the like first a retelling? This is, no, this is the first issues of Hellblazer, like the series okay. are in here, not his first appearance. Right. Hellblazer that was in Swamp Thing. Was in Swamp Thing number yeah. thirty-seven. Although some people say not. What? Some people say it was number twenty-five. There's a single panel where the guy who looks a lot like oh, Hellblazer. Uh, now, yeah, how, no, it is. However, <laughs> yes and no because at the time. The reason, hang on, we're going to get into that in a minute. Uh, I'm, 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 table that. Oh, just hang on to that. You just keep that right up there. Um, but this is kind of, I mean, it's a story. It is certainly a story, <laughs> beginning, middle, end. But, it, oh, <laughs> technically. Hang on. But it's really like some smaller stories that are kind of strung together. Mm, Whereas yeah. the book we're doing today, Hellblazer Dangerous Habits, written by Garth Ennis with our by William Simpson, or Will Simpson, is... It's a story. Mm. It's, we're six issues. We're going to tell you a story, and it's a story you might already have some familiarity with. It's probably one of the most famous version or like stories that John has that you don't know existed because <laughs> like you saw the movie, and this is yeah. what the movie is based off ah, of. Okay. And so you're going to find some similarities in there, and I say some because most of it is not in the movie. Yeah, that sounds here. about right. Yeah, that's uh, what they do. Well, you mean you mean this British man who looks like Sting is nothing like Keanu Reeves? Exactly. American man? Exactly. <laughs> and so while we could have, we really went back and forth about what we were going to do, I decided to go with this just because of the strength of the story cohesion. Mm. And this is the one everybody knows. Yes. This, however, this has its own terrifying elements, but not in the way that this does. If you're looking for something like scary with some art that like will give you some like Edo vibes, even though Edo will come a little later. It's Junji? Yeah. Like there are some moments in here that are straight up terrifying. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend that you could you can start from the beginning. But today we're gonna start with this. John Constantine. Yes. Introduce people me. to John. What does he because do? like what does he do? John has always had his tie to magic. Like if you look at his ancestry, there are magicians and he actually knows how to do stage magic and he can do actual magic. Close up magic. Close up He's magic. Like... No, I, he would hate them. Hate them. <laughs> Um, unlike us. Unlike us, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but All Garth Ennis is magic. really who brought the religion to the like to the table. A okay. More. So okay. I mean, like we deal with demons in here, but Garth was like, "Hang on, let's 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 pull a little more over to here." I'm yeah. sure they're not just demons. There's yeah. a whole thing. The whole Judeo-Christian mythology yeah. around. We it. do, yes. I assume the guy who wrote Preacher probably has something to say about religion. <laughs> right, right, and we'll get into that. I do want to talk about though, like as we mentioned, that like John originated in Swamp Thing, number 37. He's a friend or of- Or not. Or 25. Or not, or 25. <laughs> However, and the reason I say, like, I think it's 37, and like, here's the thing, I'm sure someone's gonna be like, yeah, actually, if you read this, blah, blah, blah. Alan Moore and Sting had a conversation in which this place took place. <laughs> no, what ended up happening was, like, the creative team Alan Moore was working with at the time wanted to draw Sting, because I think they drew him on the back of someone's denim jacket, and they were like, I want Sting in this comic. So Alan Moore was like, I'll take that challenge. How do I get Sting into- into Swamp Thing. Right. And so like, I assume at, at like number 25, they just wanted to draw Sting. Right. And so mm -hmm. there's Sting. Right. Yeah. And so later on, like he would be introduced. There's a fun little tidbit about John. I'm sure a lot of people already know it. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Please do. Um, I know very little about John okay. besides like his appearances in Main Street. Well, I'm a plebe. Yeah. You're not a plebe. A you're not a plebe. Fan. You're not a plebe. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Here's the fun tidbit, and like I think you're gonna really appreciate this. Several creators, including Alan Moore, and Jamie Delano, and Peter Milligan, and Brian Azzarello, have all stated that they have seen John Constantine in real life. I've heard the story. Like, what? They've literally run into the character. 
Um, the first time it happened for Alan Moore, it's happened to him twice, but the first time he was in like a, like a coffee shop, sandwich shop in England, uh -huh. guy walked in straight up, looked like John Constantine. Like trench coat, trench blonde. Coat, blonde. He's like, uh, he didn't look like Sting. Mm. He looked like John Constantine. Tyne, listen, <laughs> I heard Ennis say it, he says Tyne. I'm American. I've been saying Constantine forever. It's yeah. really hard to break that kind of habit. Yeah, yeah. Much like it's hard to stop smoking, give me a break. Well, also, the <laughs> movie was called Constantine, right? Like, the movie's yes, called Constantine. Because we're American. Everyone who works yeah. for DC calls it Constantine. But in. But Moore and Ellis also call him Time. Time. Right. So, just sorry. But so this guy walks in, he like looks at. Alan gives him a smile conspiratorially <laughs> and then like goes someplace else. And what? Alan sat there and was like, I, should I follow him or should I finish my sandwich? <laughs> and he finished his sandwich Naturally. because he was like, knowing Who what happened, knowing John and what happens to his friends, I best not follow him. <laughs> but others have said that they've run into him. Yeah. Interesting. That is not surprising. In the same area? No, just in, in different walks, like in different, like different parts of the world. Right. People who have written for him. We'll inevitably run into him. We'll find. Yeah. We'll find John. Yeah. Or John or will he'll find, find that. I like the yeah. idea that like John was birthed into the world through story, <laughs> and that he looks for his like storytellers and just reminds them that he exists. No, and that they that's, can never escape him. See, now that's so not John's style. John would be born out of like just literally because he's John, and like he would be doing that to basically give them like feel like screw you. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like just yeah, not like admiration. Yeah. It could not, be like you're getting it all wrong. Right. It's not, like, it's not me, Matt. That's yeah. not me, mate. Yeah. The lineup of creators who have written for Hellblazer is really just incredible. If you have an opportunity to take a look. All the creators I mentioned, Neil Gaiman has also written for him. Did he what, really? He wrote one issue. Uh, ah. He actually, I don't, and I don't know if it's the issue that was put out, which apparently is a, is a spectacular standalone issue uh, called Hold Me. And um, he apparently, like when he met John in Swamp Thing, he stopped what he was doing and he went and wrote a, a Constantine script that he says has not been <laughs> produced. Oh. Because he was just so enamored with so the character. He, so, so I don't know if they didn't translate that into his one shot or he just wrote a one shot at one okay. point. Okay. But there might be like preserved in I a time capsule. I would love that. Like, like, 80s Neil Gaiman story. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Exactly. Um, so Garth Ennis comes on the scene at the end of Jamie Delano's run. Uh, Jamie Delano took over for writing the Hellblazer series, like kicking it off because Karen Berger put him on a short list of some creators. Uh, Karen Berger. Karen Berger. Yeah. So who is that? Well, she was the like she was an editor at DC who ended up being like the like maven of Vertigo. Okay. She like helped with the British invasion in a way. Um, and um, so Delano gets selected for this. He's worked with more before on like uh, 2000 AD. Ah. Uh. And um, you know gets rolling with that. Sure. And then when his like stint is up, Berger makes a list. Garth Ennis is on it. Mark Miller's on it. Oh, oh no! Okay. And someone else, and they all have to, like submit their pitches, and like his one out. Thank God. <laughs> and um, Ennis was like, "What could I possibly write that's going to capture them? Like, people love John. He's had forty issues, of give or take. Occasionally, like a sub, like writer went in for. Mm -hmm. Oh, like popped in. Jamie, like, took yeah. Care of a, like, but like, story he's been writing him for forty issues essentially, yeah. give or take. That's a lot of issues. So he's like, I'm the new guy. Yeah. This is my first American published work. He'd worked on some other stuff, but it hadn't come out yet. So this is the first time American audiences like writing for an American company are introduced are, to Garth Ennis. I mean, they could have oh. read like read like they could have read 2000 AD and stuff yeah. like that, but this is it. But this is kind of it. So like he's like, what am I gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill John Constantine. <laughs> Oh, is this John goes to hell? No. Oh. <laughs> John's always in hell. Oh. His own personal. No, I mean, hell. literally, His own though. Um, no. <laughs> okay. No. Um, can you can you tell me what the Hellblazer means? Like, so, is that just like his nickname, the of the title? or is that like a is so, that like a is he the Hellblazer? Right. According to an interview I read with Jamie Delano, he says that it's a bullshit name that means nothing <laughs> because Clive Barker beat them to it. They were gonna call him Hellraiser. Yeah. Oh. Because he raises some hell, baby. He raises some hell. Oh. So they went ah screw it. He he blazes. I guess he'll hell. blaze yeah. some hell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's Does fair. They, do they call him Hellblazer no, in the book? No. That's just the he's title just, of the he's book. He's Constantine. Yeah, it's not like there's a demon who's okay. being like, who's fighting. He's like, screw you, the Hellblazer. <laughs> yeah. Ah. 
Yeah, yeah. He, he has other uh, nicknames. I would take that name, by the way. That's, That's a not dope bad. Like, ah, oh, here comes the Hellblazer. No, no. damn right. <laughs> he's just he's just John Constantine. I think he's been also been called like Johnny Conman or something like that. The con like stuff like that. Sure. Things that okay. real people here's would call something, him. Here's something you need to know about John. Yeah. John is a very capable magician. He is power. He's a powerful guy, yeah. right? John would prefer not to use magic. He will always take in a way the devil's way out of like conning you out of it mm. he will do anything to, to go that route instead. to not use magic yeah he's like i don't need to do that is I'll, this one I'll of those magic you. as a cost kind of thing no he's just like you th he thinks magic's cheating he's just he's too smart mm. he's is this too like a little good. challenge for he's himself too good uh, it, i could use magic but that would even be i fair. could well, what about this uh, no it's not even <laughs> no it's not even that egotistical he's just a bastard he just wants you to feel like an idiot oh mm. okay yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. What does he do? Right, like, what's his job? Yeah. What's what, his day-to-day? Like, yeah. Is he, like, is he a, a wandering person? Like, like a Mushishi? <laughs> yeah. No, like, occasionally. I mean, John will, like... like does he solve crimes? Nine times out of... Well, at, at is times, he, like, Walker, Texas Ranger? <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger is a real job. He has a job. That is oh, a, right. a no, Texas I'm, Ranger I'm, is a I'm position. Sorry. I'm thinking of Kung Fu, the legend. Uh. I don't know enough about that. No, John... I mean, like, most of the times you will see John just kind of, like, stumbling wandering. into things. Trouble just finds him? Yeah, trouble just finds him. Okay. Or so he... Like or he Western. will get called in to like help out occasionally. It just okay. depends on it depends on the writer, mm -hmm. which is also depends on how much magic he'll use. The writer will determine that. But would you say that like a lesser writer makes him use more magic to have a showier book? I mean, you could. I think it depends on like <laughs> the like <laughs> world that you're coming from and like the characters that you've written for prior to mm. that. Like maybe the editor you have. Hey, you get a magic up some of this book. Yeah, yeah. he's bored. He's just walking around talking to people. He's <laughs> yeah. got to he's gotta make some stuff. I mean, I really like that issue where you kick somebody in the nuts, but, like, you know, what if, like, magic blasted out of his nuts or something? Come on. There, I will say about John, John does talk a lot. When you have a, like, collection of, and by talks a lot, I mean, like, it's a lot of monologues. Yeah. There's, like, almost something noirish about him at times. Uh-huh. Um, but he's not doing a noir thing. We're not no. doing a noir. It's just he, he thinks to himself a lot. Um... It's cool having like a bunch of, you know, English, like Scottish, Irish, like authors. UK. UK authors write this because you get the lingo, which most of the time goes right over my head. No. Yes. But like there's something authentic about it. There's something yeah. that it feels, it feels good. Mm -hmm. mm. Even though John won't necessarily make you feel good. So before <laughs> we get into the story, I also want to mention that like the reason I admire John and like his stories and I think why other people don't other than the magic. Let's let's put that aside. Yeah, let's pretend like everybody magic. loved magic and they all wanted to read it. John character is flawed. Like, and I'm not talking about like Spider Man flawed. Right, or like Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, no, he is a flawed person because he's a real person. And when I say he's a bastard, I mean he's nine times out of ten described as that because he is. Like he's kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. And like he at times can make you turn that mirror in on yourself and realize that you would do the same things he might do. Right, Except but he does he, it without apologizing. Sometimes, and sometimes he does it with like, I screw up everything all the time. Mm. And like, he gives you a voice to your own thoughts that you may not want. <laughs> but you also have to recognize that like, John also does have magic, and so he can fix his way out of it, whereas you wouldn't be able to. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, like, he'll like, walk away from this. You might not. Yeah, and like... And you know, I say like magic's a cost, like you said. Yeah. There is for John nine <laughs> times out of ten, but usually because of what he did himself. Mm. Yeah. So. Right. It's not about the rules of magic so much as it is just the like trappings of the character. Yeah. 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 So like, John's just a very interesting character, and if you happen to also just dig magic, then you're probably gonna really like this. And if you don't, I still say it's worth reading about Hellblazer because it's like he's she's just really well written, especially depending on the author. You choose. Mm -hmm. That's funny because it reminds me of Ennis's Preacher. In Preacher, Jesse Custer has the word. Mm -hmm. Anything he says, he can make a human being do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's very selective about it, despite right. the fact that he doesn't have to be. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's like Ennis is going like, no, it says a lot about who you are based on how selective you are about using otherworldly power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to dig this. I have no doubt. I, I think you're going to dig like this. I like Ennis circa the 90s. Yeah. Like 80s and 90s. Right. I don't like current Ennis. Okay. That's fair. Current Ennis is not a happy man. Well, no. Then, any optimism. Well, then maybe he should go back to writing John. I think that'd be great. Uh, um, <laughs> it would be interesting to see his, his work on him now. So. Yeah, but John didn't fight in Vietnam or World War II. So there actually, no interest in there actually is a <laughs> Vietnam issue, but it's in it's an original sim that has nothing oh. to do with John being involved, he's involved with someone who went to Nam. Okay. Um, 
So Hellblazer comes out. Swan so thinks about in 85. 30, like, think number 37 comes out in 85. Okay. This, like, the original Sin first issue comes out in 88, and this is 91. There you go. 93 is when we make the transition to Vertigo. So Garth Ennis is the first writer to write Hellblazer under Vertigo. And this is not Vertigo. This is not. It's pre-Vertigo, but still, but I it, assume, it's not published, under. But it, will, it ends up being published. They put the logo on it post, like, posthumously. Yep, exactly. <laughs> well, because they had to. Um, also, just as we're going through this, like, the art's pretty good. It's by Will Simpson. Will Simpson, you may know from some other comics. He's done, he did Vamps. He did um, oh. some of the Dark Knight, Haunted Nights kind of stuff. Yeah. He is also, or was until it ended, um, he was a storyboard artist on Game of Thrones, and he helped to design the White Walkers. <laughs> oh, that's and, cool. And, like, weaponry for that. So he went on to that. Neat. In an interview I saw with him circa 2008, Garth Ennis said, like, he's a really nice guy, but he wasn't the right fit for these stories. Oh, ouch. He's he worked with him on Vamps. Like, Vamps was created by Ennis. Yeah, Anna's but he's now. just saying, like, this This was not... This does not look the this way wasn't he wants what it. I This was isn't what, I, what it should have looked. This isn't, like, he wasn't the artist oh. for this story. And, like... I get what he's saying. I don't have an issue with it, mm -hmm. but like now you I kind of wish you knew. Well, who I know who he'd pick because Was it Steve Dillon. Yeah, because <laughs> like he'd known Steve prior to working on this, but like Steve inevitably moved, I think, to Ireland, mm. and like they he did some fill-ins with Ennis, and when like Will left, Steve Dillon went on to this book, and he's like, and he's like at that time like there was just something about like the two of them coming together and working on it and he's like my stories really changed then and like for the better like he likes those better even though this is the more well-known one and i really like this book mm. but he's also mentioned that he was like and around that time i stopped smoking pot so maybe that had to do with it <laughs> because quote pot makes you lazy and it I, I can't argue with that. <laughs> it like, it tricks you into yeah. thinking an idea is really good right mm. and i was like that, interesting. A mediocre idea although is this like is a best. really good idea this is a really good idea. John Constantine is in a cafe and he's just sitting there and he's just like, cool, like I'm here, whatever, and I'm dying. And that sucks. Still like immediately out of the gate, right first page, it. I'm dying. It's the beginning of the end, here we go. I didn't think it would be like this because like I'm Constantine. <laughs> Why didn't I just magic it how, away? How no. am I, like how could this be how I go out? So then we get like a flashback to like what the hell's going on with John. Well, one night or morning, John woke up and he felt like crap and he went to like, unsurprisingly because john is a chain smoker yeah. and an alcoholic you know what i mean so like it doesn't surprise anyone wakes up feeling like crap yeah <laughs> and so he, he rushes to the sink and he notices that he's bleeding and he's like it's not from a bloody nose and it's not from a bit lip and like he starts like coughing something up and then Ooh. like literally like a huge glob of something falls out of his mouth and into the sink and he realizes that's not liquid that's not it's not it's part of me yes so he goes to the doctor and the doctor's like i know how to tell you this but you've got lung cancer and it's oh. very advanced yeah and he's like, how many of those do you do you smoke? He, uh, John famously smokes Silk Cuts, which is an actual cigarette brand. Oh. Um, and he's like, about 30 a day. <laughs> oh, my God. So <laughs> John has... I come from a chain-smoking family, yeah. and that's a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> yes, yeah, no, I know. Um, so I like what Ennis has done here. He's taken John out of his, like, mystical like world of like you know a demon probably will one day will kill me something from my past will one day kill me yes and it does in a way but it's something mundane right yeah. it's something that can happen to anyone anyone, yeah. anyone nah, normal i'm a ghost way to go. nah cigarettes N cigarettes <laughs> you smoked too much that's fantastic because it's also like you take this character that's you know embroiled in magic and mysticism and crazy zany high-flying stuff and it's like boom cigarette smoke yep boom yep. 90s don't smoke message. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Like relatable because everyone knows someone who smokes. Yep. 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 It, it hooks you. Boom. Like the cigarettes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, is he going to like seek out like a like going out in a blaze of glory? No. Oh. No. He's no, just no, gonna no. mope about it. <laughs> so like, but like but while moping, he also realizes that he's alone. He has no friends. He has no one. And he's just like, cool. Oof. I'm yeah, just. No one will mourn him. No, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, like this just sucks. And then we cut to him like presumably asleep like he's fallen asleep and like he has a dream but in the dream everything is real to him he's like very aware of everything where like he has a dream of being dead and the like mortician making up his body Ugh. and like he can feel them like shoving the gauze in his like teeth like in his cheeks like and like he describes everything yeah and then there's like a light and a hand Hmm. And like they're That's like, it's no fair. You have to go through all that, and then they come get you. Yeah. Well, they're like, they're like, he's like it's John, and he's just like, I know you, and it's with this little girl, and she's like, yeah, it's me, Astra. Now, for those who read Original Sin, John famously had a problem <laughs> when he was younger, but like 
not like it, not like like a little kid, but like you know, driving. He was in a band. You know, he had a bunch of friends. He'd collected a like kind of like cadre of like magic users of all different types, and like they had played at a and club. Like a dog, and they would go around the country. They had a van, band, but yeah, no dog. They mysteries. did have a van. They did have no. Van. They actually they go to um, a club in this town called Newcastle where like they had played the night before. They didn't get paid. Oh. So they go back. When they arrive there, there's like been a massacre. Of, oh. Like the club owner and everyone, like and Manson esque massacre. Uh, yeah. I guess we're not getting paid now. Yeah, <laughs> but while they're there, they there's like a little girl, and like there's a demon there, mm. and like they're like we got like John's like we got to save her because right. like that's what we do now. Well, he's a he's a cocky douche who's yeah. just like I can fix this. We learned no magic. Problem. We didn't do it not to impress people and do cool shit. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna fight demons and stuff. Yeah, why not? So he ends up summoning a demon to combat that demon. No, <laughs> except that's a terrible idea. <laughs> as you've heard many times with demonology, you need to know a demon's true name in order to bind them and control them. Oh, and gotcha. he doesn't use its true name, oh. and so he doesn't have total control over it. No. Uh oh. Um. By the way. All the people who died there all deserved it. <laughs> they were all dicks. The band? Do you the, mean? No, 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 oh, no. The people, no, the that people were the club owner. Yeah, the go. little girl's dad owned the club, and he was letting them rape her. I see. Oh. And so she summoned the demon. Oh, by, oh like, for revenge. Well, no, or like not protection? on purpose, but like literally from her like emotional distress, summoned a demon who then saved her. Oh. Uh, okay. So. Bunch of so stuff wrong happens. Wrong place, wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time. Well, no, they show for up. John. Well, for John, John's like, oh, I gotta save her, so it's he like, summons no, another demon. <laughs> and a bunch of stuff happens to the friends. They're all okay. Eh. <laughs> Not really. You just read it to find out. <laughs> but they all walk away from it. Right. The demon kills the other, like the one that she summoned. Okay. And then takes her to hell. And John's like, <sighs> uh, oops. Ooh. So like from that point on, John is like, holy crap. Like, I'm bad at this. Yeah. But, like, it always tends to find him, and he's not any less cocky. Mm. Right. That demon's name is Nurgle. Nurgle will be a constant thorn in John's <laughs> side. Nurgle. Like, yeah, Nurgle. Yeah. <laughs> well, Nurgle, Nurgle's is actually... Is Nurgle its true name, Nurgle or is that the yes. fake, stupid No, no, name Nurgle's its real name. Nurgle needed to come with them in the van and be like, yeah, Nurgle thinks we should check out <laughs> oh this. Oh, my God. Let's go. Nurgle's a shape changer, and actually, I think it's a Mesopotamian or something like that god, like in real life. Right, Like, okay. they, there's a myth about like that. Like Zuzu. Yeah. Nurgle, in Original Sin, um, had, uses John as a, like, plot device because a girl he knew is been selected by this like super religious like group because she could possibly bear like a messiah essentially and so they're prepping her for like an angel to come down and he's like we can't have that we can't have right. that so here's what i'm gonna do john you're in the hospital because you did something really stupid and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my demon blood and put it into your iv and so now you're tainted go have sex with her <laughs> because that will taint her. Right. Oh, and so he does. That's the whole thing. He does. Wh why? Because, like... Because she's hot, you know. <laughs> it's like, I don't care about your whole, like, demon <laughs> Well, he thing. doesn't... Well, because, like... I just want to bang In her. theory, like, depending on, like, I guess, like, what mythos you're going with, like, even if, It would have like, been, like, the Antichrist or it, something? No, it would have, like, been a regular one, but still oh. then heaven would have won. He also... Oh, oh that's right. No, Nurgle like, was going to... It would be a huge, like, battle. If, if John didn't do it, if John didn't go and have sex with this chick he already liked, Nurgle was going to start eating all the babies in the hospital. <laughs> That's what it okay, was. Okay, fair enough. He okay. was like, you're well. fine. I'll well, go. Plus, if there's an apocalypse, like, my favorite coffee shop will be ruined and everything like that. <laughs> right. But yeah. I, 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 well, it was, it was, it was <laughs> the baby thing, really. He just wanted to have sex with right? Yeah. <laughs> Babies, whatever. So, regardless, all those friends, the Newcastle gang, inevitably throughout John's history, starting in Original Sin, all start dying. And John's always involved. No. Oh. And, ah. and now they're ghosts. <laughs> and occasionally they'll come and visit him. Right, and I mean, remind him what an asshole he is. Yeah. yeah. Look what you so, did to us. So this time he, he like shows up and they're all there too. Okay. Mm. Like, hey, it's the girl. Yeah, and the, well, like the girl's oh, like, right, it's a dream. Yeah. Well, you're not sure because mm. like he's seen them before. Yes. Right. So the girl's like, he's like, well, I killed you, and she's like, yeah, but now you're dead, so now you know what it's like. Anyway, here we go. Go talk to your friends, mm. and they, he's like, oh, damn it, <laughs> go away. Right. Here they all are, <laughs> all my rowdy friends. And he's like, just give me a break. Like, I did all the things to, like, avenge you. And, and they're like, what do you want? And he's like, they're like to well, not be dead. Yeah, That's well, what I want. Well, they're like, we're not visiting you. You're visiting us because you're dead. Did you hear what she said? Are you slow? Like, what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so, like, like eventually, like, they, they dig into his family a little bit because, like, oh. John has, like, a storied past as I, well. I know virtually nothing about his family life. John's dad is an asshole. 
Okay. His older sister is pretty cool. Yeah, she ends up coming up later on in the, in the whole run. Mm. Sure. Cheryl, and his brother died in the womb. No. Oh. Um, and there's a couple of reasons that could have happened. One theory is that John ate ch- him. No, choked him with oh. the umbilical cord. Mm-hmm. And okay. then in, a, in an alternate multiverse, the that other brother the other born? brother survived, and he was meant to be. He's meant to be the greatest Megas of all. He's called like the Golden Megas or something. Oh, like that. oh. oh that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So John's like, I'm the inferior Megas. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm. I, I killed the one. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, well, I mean, I don't like remember him at all. And like his father. <laughs> nah, I don't remember know, choking was, him with. And his father. Well, and like again, there's another version where he didn't choke him. It's like. Sure. Mm. It's outside forces. Um. Mm. His dad's quite pleased with that because he's like, no, you're, that brother was weak. I'm glad you killed him because he would have been like crap. His dad's right. an asshole. <laughs> right. Well, the Just fact that you killed him, ergo, demonstrates strength. that he's weak. And yeah. He deserved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, regardless, like, John just has, like, a moment of, like, oh, God. Like, this is what eternity is going to be like. Gonna, or my yeah. dad's going to Yeah, so then he wakes up, has a cigarette. John does not stop smoking throughout this whole thing, by the way. Like, he's just, like, well, I mean, I'm not going to I want cancer. I want to get more cancer. Especially if it's, like, aggressive. Right? Yeah. So, John decides what he's going to do is he goes to, like, a cancer ward. And, like, that cancer ward is more like a hospice area. Um. And, like, he's like, yeah, I've got an aunt, like, who's got cancer. And I want to take a look around and see what it's like. Because he's really scoping it out for himself. Yeah, right. He's like, is this, like, yeah. is this where What's I should go? Like? Yeah. yeah. Should I go here? I don't know. Or is this how I'm going to end my, my days? Yeah. And, like, he's, like, really, like, not feeling it, obviously. <laughs> it's... A, Man, this place is depressing. <laughs> well, no. dying people. For, yeah, no, for him it's more like he's just like, <laughs> like it's the. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. Right, you got sick well, people over here. This guy's coughing. Like, yeah, ugh. well, he has this where he's like, I have to get out of here because that's how John handles things. Right, leave yeah. the hard He wants situation. to I'm run. Out. Yeah, like he's an admitted coward. He wants to just get away from it. Sure. Yeah. So he wants to leave, but like a like a guy in one of the beds calls him over, and he's like, "Hey, Blondie, oh, oi! <laughs> hey, is that you, Sting? Oi, we're in get over here. Oi, yeah. you cheeky bastard! <laughs> Can he I get an for, autograph? He asks him for a smoke, and he's just like, he gives him one, and like they kind of start like chatting about like whatever, like you know, dying and stuff. Well, Soccer. it's more like he's like, "What are you doing? Like, are you Football. visiting someone? My name's Matt. What's up?" And he's like, "I'm John." And for some reason, John looks at him and he's like, "I'm not gonna lie to him." And he tells him, he's like, I'm dying. Right. Mm. And he's just like, yeah, all right. Enjoy the club, buddy. <laughs> it's going around. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, you thinking about coming here? And he's just like, nah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be moving in here. Like, yeah. he doesn't, this, like, this place kind of sucks. I well, pass. I think what it is is he doesn't want to fizzle out. Mm, and instead what John right. realizes is he's like, like you, know, you guys, I don't like, want to You know go what I'm going like to do? I am going to find a way to fix it. Himself oh. or, yes. the, or the or the sin he committed of sending Him. that girl to hell. No, that sin <laughs> no, is, that doesn't matter. Oh, he doesn't worry about that. He anymore. inevitably does fix that later on. Okay, oh. but that has nothing to do with this. He's like, I'm gonna worry about that after I die. Yeah, <laughs> but like, for a minute when like he's like you know being like I'm not gonna be moving in with you. Like Matt's like, are you gonna off yourself? Mm. He's like, because that's not oh, that's, that's not a good ooh, idea. I, you know, I didn't think about that. Yeah. And he's like, no, no. Wow. John's like, I am no, I'm going. Beat it. I'm gonna magic the hell out of this on myself. Mm, I'll figure right. this out. He's at home. He gets a call. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because, like, it's just an interesting moment because it's, like, the doctor clearly had to, like, look at John and, like, take blood and stuff like that. And since he has the blood of, of a, a demon? demon in him, <laughs> like, the doctor calls him back. He's like, hey, um, I've, I saw some, like, you know, some interesting uh, things with your test results. And, like, for a minute, John's your like. Your red blood cells look like bats <laughs> and stuff. It's real weird. Yeah. And they keep, they keep, like, sticking their tongues out of me. First of all, they have tongues. Yeah. And pitchforks? Yeah. It, one. Um, no, but he's, like. You know, for a minute, John is like, he's calling to tell him he's, he was wrong about the test results. Oh, and then he gets his that's... hopes up for a second. Oh. And then when he's he realizes that the guy just wants to get him back in because he's like, holy crap, like, I made a discovery here. Right. Oh. John, like, just, like, gets in, like, in, like flies off the head. He's like, enraged <laughs> by this, um, which is fair. And again, like, right. this is where, like, you see John, like, is this, this is a human reaction? Like it's vulnerable, but it's also this is a human reaction. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I'm, I'm not gonna die. Yeah. It's oh, you just wanted something from me, which is so yeah. funny because that's all John is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, you're just like me. Yeah. Exactly. So what John decides to do is he takes a trip to Ireland because there's a friend of his there. Yeah. Because life isn't hard enough. He goes to find a friend of his, Brendan, who I believe is also part of the. Newcastle group? Well, he does have a demon for a door knocker. Maybe not. So I'm guessing that he is in some way... 
he's he, magicked up. Brendan is a like a magician of some kind, but he's kind of retired from him. Sure. So he moved out to Ireland. He brought like, he bought himself a little tower, and like he basically like he he traded one vice for another in his eyes. Like he traded magic for wine making. Okay. So like or like wine purchasing. So he's all these like vintage bottles or whatever. Cool. And like I think he actually reached out to John as well to like come out there. So like they have a night of like drinking and like he's a little weird about it. Like, you know, he's like, oh, I haven't seen each other for a while. They kind of catch up. Like he it's, it's supposed to have this undercurrent of like suspicion and confusion. Yeah, 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 exactly. And like, you know, they chat about like their like, you know, flames and that like I think he was with a, a girl who we'll see. And they talk a little <laughs> bit more about Kit and Brendan, because basically Kit and Brendan were like a, like in like this really great relationship back in the day and like John was like always with them and hanging out. And there's no like love triangle there. No. Literally like John just loved just hanging friends. out with them because like they had such joy and like such a light about them that like he was just like it was like they are unstoppable. Yes. And now they're not together. Anymore. Naturally. Um, and obviously Brendan misses her and he's sad. And he's like, oh, hang on. Come with me. And they like go into the wine cellar and like he like, you know, Brendan moves some stuff around and like shows him a trap door and they go into the like downstairs. Oh, uh, no. And you're like, mm, what are you going to, uh, what, what, what are the fuck? What, what's going on down here? And so they get down there and it's just literally a cellar and there's like a pool in the middle of it. And like, he's like, check it out. It's a shrine. It's holy water, John. And he's like, what? "What are you doing?" He's got like a little table set up, and it's got like a like a like a star on it, and he puts like the candles on, it, and he's like, "Check this out. You ready for this?" And then, like he lights the candles, and he like does this little magic thing, and then he takes two pint glasses and he dips them into the water, and he's like, "You know, Jesus turned them into wine, but is the best beer you're gonna have." <laughs> What? He's like, I got all the wine I need. <laughs> and like John takes a sip and he's like, it's like it's perfect. It's like it's like heaven. Now he's we English, so naturally a... it's perfect. It's it's warm. <laughs> it's, and it's thick. Excellent. So he he found a way to turn water into beer. I hope that this guy has like a cool house. Yeah. yeah he's just got, got a bitching, wine bitching cellar. House. He's got yeah. a magic beer basement. <laughs> Magic beer basement. <laughs> these, are the, these are the things. He has no like, loved one. Nope. Yep. He's got a demon door knocker. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All kinds of cool shit. He's got all shit. his priorities set up. He's got a big screen TV. <laughs> so you can that's watch Liverpool old... play Manchester, Manchester United. United. Perfect. Yeah, on the, the telly. On the, on the telly. Yeah. He probably has a lorry. Constantine tells him essentially that like, He's he's got he's got cancer and he's just mm. like I was hoping you could help. And he's like oh you thought I was gonna have like a special cure like a special spell that could yeah. get rid of your cancer. Oh yeah, this beer, this yes. magic beer cures cancer. Yeah. Excellent. And so then like he <laughs> oh. starts, like he's like yeah that's right. And like he just starts laughing at him. And Sean's like that's not funny. Like, what are you doing? Like and he gets <laughs> really upset and he just keeps he's like hey guys. He's, smashed. he's like no you don't understand. I reached out to you because my liver has failed oh. and I'm oh, dying. Oh my god. So we're, we're both two peas in a pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and so God. then, like, he's like, it's basically... It's kismet. Let's do this. Brendan knows that he's going to die that night. and I, I oh. oh, that night? That night. He knows he's going to die that night. And so the two of I them... I can feel it. I can feel my liver going. Oh, here I They're go. They're also magic. Don't forget. Like, there's the <laughs> right, magic. Right, yeah. So the two of them just get smashed. <laughs> I mean, like, in a hilarious, like, they're just like, ah, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Like, they get, like, they just keep having more cheers, whatever. Two and then two. they have one more, basically. And, like... You know, he's like, you'll see yourself out, right, John? And he just kind of sits down in the Aww. cellar up against the wall. And, like, they grasp hands. And then he's like, I'll see you soon. Because, like, he's like, well, right, you're yep. going to die. Yeah. So John, like, stumbles up the stairs out of the, the cellar. And, like, he's trying to put his coat on. And he's like, all right. And there's a knock at the door. Dude, where are you going? You're completely destroyed. Yeah, he's going to walk. <laughs> you can just, just go to bed. stumble off into the dark. No, he doesn't want to stay there. He doesn't, no, yeah, like, there's going to be a dead guy wall. here. Wait, wait, wait. Well, like, don't forget, John's also, like, he wanted to leave the hospital. Because it's like, he seemingly like he wants to push death away. Right, right. So he's like, now that he's going to die, I don't want to be here. I don't, yeah. don't want to get that Gross. on me. Mm -hmm. So then, like, as he's trying to leave, there's like there's like someone at the door, and like he like he's like, oh my gosh, like like the hairs on the back of his neck Ooh. shoot yeah. up, and like he there's like this smell. He's like, oh, the smell, it's horrible. And there's a, a well dressed man there. And it then smells like a it smells like a well dressed man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that sounds like this. It smells like he's showered recently. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's like, I gotta get out of here, and it's too late. Like the guy's like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, you don't have to invite me in, but it would be nice if you did. He's the devil. So or death? <laughs> no. Like yes and no. Oh, because I'm thinking inviting in. Okay, whatever. Well, that's what a vampire. Well, vampire. Vampires. Yeah. yeah, vampires. Um. So he's like he's looking for. Mr. Fanny's like, oh, is he down the, the wine cellar? And like, 
you know, it's fine. So he's going to go down there, and John's like, I'm going to go with you, make sure this is done right. Right. Because, like, he's here for his soul. Uh, and, like, John's like, I don't, he's like, you're trash. And he's like, I'm not so smashed that I can't make sure you, like, things aren't, don't go sideways, essentially. Mm. And, like, he mentions, like, the, the guy, who, like, the well dressed man mentions, like, his dad, like, being in hell because mm. his father's died. Yep. Mm. And he's just like, and he was condemned by his hatred for his own son. Oh. He's just, he's just pushing buttons yeah. on John. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they get down there, and he's just like, yeah. So, basically, the arrangement was that, like, I gave him um, the expertise to, like, amass this wine collection. He sold his soul to me. Uh -huh. And, like, uh -huh. the deal was that, like, on the day that he died, he I had until midnight to claim it. Okay. Okay. And it's, like, 10 to 12. Oh, right. Okay. Mm. Ah. Wait a minute. If the guy had, like, shot himself in the head at, like, 11.59... Yeah, he wouldn't have he gotten wouldn't his soul. He wouldn't have had time to get his soul? No, no so but weird. he would have he condemned himself because he would have committed suicide. Oh, right, right, right. And so, like, I don't die. know how that would have yeah. worked out. But suppose he had coincidentally died of natural causes at 11.59. This guy would never have time to collect. Well, no. Maybe. Depends. But, yeah, probably not. <laughs> maybe he, maybe he would have hurried a little bit more. Yeah. He's just like, oh, and I'm sure you think that you're going to, like, outsmart me or <laughs> right. whatever. Oh, it's only 10 minutes. Yeah. Right. Like, whatever and he's just like you know what i got an idea and he takes two glasses and he puts them into the beer and he gives them to him and he's just like out of all of the great drinkers of this world no one will to say they had a drink with the devil <laughs> and so like i want that opportunity and he's just like yeah why not yeah okay yeah sure yeah, why not? And you still have one minute to spare flattery will get you anywhere. everywhere right. exactly and so like they they drink and he's like ah oh, that's what he's up to a magic stout and he's just like yeah, yeah funny thing about that the candles keep it the way it is and so he's like, what? Because he mentions that it's holy water. Yeah, and like yeah. John's like, kicks the, the altar over, thus destroying the circle. So now he's filled with holy water. Uh, and so then John like <laughs> breaks one of the wine bottles and like slashes at him. And, nice. and like, and so like at midnight, it, you know, there's no one to claim the soul. So his soul is able to go to heaven. And so Aww. that's why he asked John to come. He wasn't to, fit, oh. to heal him. He knew that John could best the devil. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Now, that is not the devil. Oh. All right. You it, can't kill the devil. Well, easily. no. It's the, Here's why it's not the devil. <laughs> At the same time that this was coming out, Neil Gaiman's writing Seasons of Mist, in which he introduces Lucifer Morningstar. And so the devil was already established in a universe that John Constantine had visited. Mm. And so he couldn't be the devil. Well, in that universe. John, John and, and, and Morpheus oh, they, exist they... in the same universe along with, along with Swamp Thing. Yeah. And so Lucifer couldn't be this devil. Right. He's the first of the fallen. Mm. There are three of the fallen. Mm. And inevitably, when actually, because of what happens in Sandman, they will regain control of hell. But the idea is, he's actually the first one who fell. And Lucifer was the fourth. And when he showed up, he was like, I'm here. Uh, it's mine. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's well, right. It's mine by I right. I rolled in. I took shit over. Yeah. <laughs> Is that something that the devil would do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is absolutely what the devil would do. So we established that John can't sleep anymore without having horrific dreams. Like he has a dream in which like he is turned into like the cancer that he has, like awesome. a representation of it. Oh. Who could complain about the art in this book? It's 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 so indicative of the it's time. Not what I had in mind um, though. Gar Garth Ennis? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, okay. So, you know, Ennis can complain. I'm not. The right? art's quite good in this series. Yeah, no, it is. I, but I understand. I think what he was referring to when you think when you see like what Dylan does yeah, later on. No, I but like, I, I don't have a problem with this art. Honestly, there are a couple of moments where it's like not 100, percent but like mm. it's pretty solid. Right. Um, John's hanging out and he runs into a friend of his named Ellie, and he's like, "Hey, Ellie, like, I'm dying. Want to sleep with me? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. They basically like." She, like, he brings lunch, like, coffee and, and sandwiches, and they, like, share lunch together, essentially. Cool. Where is he now, by the way? Is he back he's in He's back in England. Okay. And, um, like, basically he's, like, feeling around about how, like, the bosses are feeling. And you're like, oh, who is this? Yeah, who are the bosses? Ellie is, is a demon. She's a succubus, I believe. Ah. And so, like, she's kind of feeling around about what happened to the, fast of the, like, the first of the fallen. And he's like, she's like, well, you... Like, filled him with holy water and cut him. How do you think he feels? <laughs> right. He's, well, right. Where do you think he went? Cincinnati? Yeah. Like, he's pissed, John. He's pretty sore. He's yeah. pissed. And when you die, he's, like, coming for you. Like, you mm. insulted him. So you mean, wait, 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 wait. So when's the part where we find out that he killed himself as a teenager? <laughs> no. She suggests that he visit the snob. Okay. And he's like, I don't want to visit 
a snob. I hate the snob. <laughs> I don't. I don't like him at all. Like he's is just. Is he a snob? Yes. Like yeah. he, he's like he's conceited and he's terrible. Aptly and, named. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's no, it's not one of those things where it's like the opposite of what his name is. He's, <laughs> no, he's very magnanimous. <laughs> no, no, no. Like so, like off he goes. But before he does, he goes to visit Matt because he said he would. Oh, and so like nice. he actually Aww. keeps that promise and he goes. He goes back to this place that he hates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just to. to this to, dude he just met. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, basically, like, he's like, I'm not, I'm not great, man. Not, not, go, not going well. <laughs> like that, like, he's clutching at straws mm, at this point. And Matt's yeah. like, listen, like, it's none of my business, but, like, what, what are you trying to do here? Like, what, what's your plan? Right. Like, what, what, like. Right. It sounds like you're just kind of, like, in a more of an episodic adventure in your life. Where <laughs> yeah. Where you kind of go from place to place and right wrongs. Kind of. But you're not actually doing that. singular But direction. he's like, what's your plan? Like, you want to fix this. What are you going to do? What's your arc? And he's like, right. ah, as a guy I could go visit. But he's like, like he's, he's a snob. He's conceited and all that. And he's just like, oh, that's funny. Like, I used to know someone like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like he got under your skin the same way he under, got under Yeah, and so like they were in like a village and like they were, he's like, the fact is we were looting. We were looting mm. the village. And like a, like a Jerry Panzer truck came over the hill and like, he's like, come on men, we, we gotta like hold it off. And like the officer went and stood in front of it and, and turned around and everyone away. was gone. <laughs> <laughs> And, yep. and like he's just like and he basically describes it as they sent him home in a matchbox I think <laughs> that's such a great Ennis line <laughs> oh um, Ennis has utter disdain for douchey commanding officers yeah and yeah yeah in every book I've read that Ennis has written that there happened. is if it flashes back to a war yeah there is an officer who abuses their authority yep. and gets theirs <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 so uh John goes to like this upstanding gentleman's club uh, <laughs> called the Cambridge Club, created for those who had gone to Cambridge. Uh huh. No. Um, no. And like he's trying to get in. There's like a guy at the door who won't let him in. Because so, he's not Cambridge. Because he didn't go to Cambridge. Well, he, you should see what he looks like. I mean, like it's pouring outside. He's wearing a rumpled trench coat. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Even if you went to Cambridge, you're not getting. You're not, not getting it. <laughs> and like this, like he uses magic basically to like convince him of who he is. He's like, oh, I'm this person, and he's like, all right, oh, you go okay. In. Oh. So he goes in and like. He goes into like the parlor where like the you know fireplace. It's very ornate looking. Yes. Yeah. And like there's a very tall looking like attractive man, who's like talking to like a shorter guy about like whatever and, and like essentially. <laughs> about what? About how about much whatever. taller he no, is. No, no, no. They're they're and making how short like the other guy. They're is. making like a deal essentially. Oh. oh. And um, when the uh, the smaller guy leaves, like John knows him and he's like, oh hey Charlie, how you doing? You, you still burning down Pakistani grocers? Oh. And like he's just like, oh, what are you doing here, Constantine? Uh -oh. And he like, he's like, hey, I, 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 I'm gonna jump, like, pop in on our mutual friend here. Hope he doesn't find out what you're really all about. Oh. And like John's like, I'm gonna keep that one in mind. Let's like, do that one right it's, up here. John remembers <laughs> who said this. So like, literally, he like shows up. He's like, hey, what's going on with your eternal life there, mate? Right. And like mm. the, the the gentleman doesn't really say anything. Like, you know, and John inevitably orders a drink. He gets the drink, and then like he's just like, so like I yeah, you're dying, John. Oh. And inevitably, like, so did you, did you come here thinking that like I would help you? Because I'm not going to. Because like. Because <laughs> I'm the snob. Because <laughs> that's yeah. my arc. Well, no, because he's just like you know you like you believed in your own lies and you got people killed and like you're damned for being you and that's this is why the you're your going fuck to help. Scene from the movie where he talks to uh, Gabriel. Yeah. And he's like appealing to Gabriel. Yeah. Gabriel's well, it's like, because he's talking to Gabriel. Oh! 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 He's like, and he just like li lists off the reasons why he's like, you know, why he's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. like you know, he's like, you, you, like, he tried to kill your dad. You use your friends like shields. You like leave like wreckage behind you. Let's not forget the little girl. <laughs> you dabbled in sorcery and magic when it was forbidden. Like, right. here are the things you did, and that's why no one's gonna help you, and John. And you remember yeah. them too. It's not like you don't know what you're doing. Like right. you're asking a lot. Yeah, and like see, for example, the Ten Commandments. He's like, were they a joke to you? <laughs> and then, like, like, please, John everybody. loses it, and he's oh. just like, take your rules, and you can just shove them up your arse because, like, <laughs> like you don't like you don't pay attention to anything. He's like, do you know that guy? You know the guy like you were dealing with deals in like you don't know anything about anyone like you pretend mm. like you know everything. And he just dresses him down, which gets Gabriel really upset. Yeah. Sure. And then John is asked to leave. Oh, the worst of the punishments. Yes, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Yeah, <laughs> forthwith. <laughs> Yeah. So then the John. Most English of, of 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 damnation. Yeah, yeah. So then, like, John's like, okay, okay, that didn't work. 
Okay. That, <laughs> and that got out I of feel hand. like I have a lot more hurdles to jump before I can get mm. back. To right. Mm. To right. This, this is a problem. Yeah. Now. I went up to him like I had any cards, and I have zero. I had cards. zero cards. Yeah. Zero no cards. cards well, at he all. thought he's just like. I mean, I've helped out a little bit here and there. Yeah, I've done like, some good stuff. On. Right. Yeah. Because in the movie, it's kind of like, no, I've been, I've literally been fighting demons. Right. To, and each demon I thought was like a chip towards my favor. Yeah. yeah. This is more like, I, 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 like I don't, I don't think about making doing bad things every minute of every day. <laughs> yeah. 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 And sometimes, like by accident, people have not died. Yeah, and when well, I'm he, involved. he accuses them of like not seeing things in like gray tones. He's like, it's black or white with you people. Right, right exactly. Right. Like I don't, I don't understand. Was like, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just add that to the list. Punch. Um, you so seraphist. Th <laughs> so then John goes to a bar to have another drink, and like he starts concocting his plan, oh. and he's just like, he's like, okay, <laughs> this is. How can I cheat my way out of this? This is probably the worst idea I've ever had. But, if it, <laughs> but he's like, but if it works, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Here we go. That is, yeah. If it works, I'll be insufferable yeah. forever. <laughs> Before John kicks off his plan, he's got a couple of things he wants to do. He goes to his family's grave, kind of says his goodbyes. He has this inner monologue where like he tries to open up a cigarette packet. And he's like, my hands are getting so shaky, I can't even do it anymore. Oh. He's like, it's coming soon. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. He goes to visit his sister. Oh. And she's like, oh, hey, like, you know, cool, you're here. He hates her husband because mm. he doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, and, she's too good for him. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, so she gives her some shit about that. <laughs> she has a daughter um, who will end up being really important later. Mm. Mm. I, I, I can only imagine that that daughter's only important, like, much later. I don't remember when... Like, post... I don't know. I don't remember when Gemma comes in, but, like, she does come into play. Because mm -hmm. I feel Gemma? like... That this is Cheryl. Gemma oh. is the daughter. Yeah. Right, his niece. So is the book called Gemma, Niece of Constantine? Yeah, no. Oh! You just gave DC a boner. Please don't do that. <laughs> please, please don't do that. He won't say goodbye and he won't tell her. So she doesn't know he has cancer. So he's just being a jerk and she's well, he's giving her, letting her be normal. Kind of, him. but then he then she's like and then he goes like, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to do something for me. I need you to tell Gemma I'm not coming back. Ooh. Because like they're kinda close. Oh. And she's like, What do you mean? He, she's like he's like, I'm not you know, I'm not returning. And she's like, Oh, and like she's like, Look, I don't fully understand what it is that you do. Speaking of magic, right? right. But like, I know like that what you're involved in, and I don't have. I've never really wanted to know fully, but I assume it's because of that. He's like, not really. And he's just like, no. He's like, you know, like magic and demons and the supernatural rely on your fears, and so like, if you don't believe in it, it can never hurt you. Oh. And so like, that's a very gaming esque approach. I yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you, Garth. Hmm. Yeah, and like basically, like he says a very like John like Constantine kind of like saying where he's just like shit. You want to know the like you want to know about magic, sis? I'll give you the secret of magic. Magic's a load of sodding bullocks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's John right there. Like he's been relying on it. He's all into it. It got him into, like you know all sorts of messes. And he's like, it's yep. but it, yeah. Uh, now I'm dying of friggin' cancer. Right. Cancer. You're better it's off just not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're, you're not and what out. Could, what and what could magic do against cancer? Yeah. Apparently, Apparently nothing. Fuck off. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um so basically like he's like I'm really in over my head at this point <laughs> and like I got to go but I can't handle saying goodbye to Gemma because mm. I'm a coward. Right. And okay. like, he says it out loud to her. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so he he says goodbye to her, she says goodbye to him and then he leaves. Mm. Then he checks in with Chaz. 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 So the Ch Shia LaBeouf character. <laughs> what a respect they gave that character with that movie. Uh, Chaz is like Constantine's like oldest friend, essentially. Like when okay. they were sixteen, uh, Constantine moved in with him for a bit, where he met like Chaz's mom, who was like terrible, and uh. like she is a familiar who was like a oh. like a monkey. Like a female monkey who was like literally tormenting Chaz and like uh, making his life horrible. Ugh, and so Constantine killed the monkey. Nice. And in doing so, he knew what would happen, which was he killed the monkey and he knew it would kill his mom. And right. so like Chaz uh, is forever indebted to him for letting him free. Wow. And so like every time like, like, but like Constantine has like never let it go. So like every time like <laughs> he gets him to do something, he's like, you owe me. Right. You Don't forget about that time me. that I yeah, saved your you mom. You can never repay this debt. And so like he arrives back to London from visiting his sister, Chaz comes to pick him up. And like, he's just like, hey, you know, oh, look at your crappy cab. Like, he's like, yeah, because you told me to like invest in something and it totally fell apart. Oops. And so now I've got, I had to take a loan from like this like notorious horrible loan shark and I have this little tiny car. Hey and man, you gotta diversify, you know, that's <laughs> on you. I just gave you one tip, I well, didn't say. Chaz is yeah. not 
super intelligent. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like that's well known. Mm. So Chess gets a great death scene in Deceased. Oh yeah. And does he? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And John is very cool in that scene. Is he? Yeah. Cool. Like Chess gets tr gets turned by the anti-life equation. Uh -huh. Like they're in the cab and he tries to get him and he's just and he he's please just stop getting me. Yeah. And then he sets him ablaze with Aww. magic mm. and he just like explodes into like particles and like he like replaces him, you know, like like he he physically like takes his place in the seat yeah. uh, and then like drives through the friggin' zombies and like Dr. Fate comes picks him up and he's like, like are, are you okay? And he's like, I'm covered in my best friend. Mm. Oh. Like, how do you think I feel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny because it's like, that is very John as well. Exactly. Where it's like, John could say that after he was gone. Right. right. Anyway, you know what yeah. I mean? That's why, by the way, I thought like, oh, Tom Taylor doing a Hellblazer book. That's a, not a bad idea. Yeah. It's like, no. Uh, but like, it's, you know. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. That, that series only three issues. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You know, John's like, you know, if you don't pay that guy, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And like, like Chaz like loses it. He's like, it's really your, it's your fault. Like, it's your right. fault. Right. It's like, no, you. <sighs> so then like, but like John sees how upset he is. And like, I think in that moment, John realizes how guilty he is for putting Chaz into so many horrific positions. Yes. Right. Um, based on the like, you're indebted to me. Yeah. And like, he even admits that he's like, he's not. Like, I'm indebted to him. Right. Mm. So like, like he gets to a point where like, they're like a few blocks away from his place and like, John's like, you can just stop. I'll just get out here. And so he leaves and on the seat where John was, there's like an envelope and it just says Chaz and there's all the money he needs to pay off the debt. The debt and a oh, letter wow. that says, I'm squaring up with you, man. Like, you know, I'm proud to call you my friend. Aww. John, like, has a, like, a, a book. He's reading this book called the Grimorium Urum. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out if his plan's going to work. <laughs> What is the, the Grimorium Urum? I don't know. Is it like Grim the Gamorum Agamorum? <laughs> That's <laughs> your friggin' You're thinking of the Gamorum Arcanorum. Oh, you're yeah. thinking of Gamorian guards. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what right. he's thinking I'm of. I'm thinking yes. of the fat green pig. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, I was thinking of the book from friggin' Gargoyles. Yeah, no, but like, um, so John's like got all his like tools. He's got everything he needs. And he's like, tonight is when I die. Tonight is when cancer takes me. Right. But before he goes, he goes back to see Matt. Now, like Matt is becoming more horrific looking yeah. throughout the Yeah, like the he book. doesn't look like he's emaciated so much as he's like transforming. Well, he's dying. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? And he's like, He's transforming I mean, into a corpse. <laughs> oh, I think like we have seen, yes. But we have seen like people have documented that journey yes. and like it's been well documented and this does happen. That's fair. And it's yeah. happening quickly, obviously yeah. for Matt, as Matt yeah. is ending, like there are many things that are failing in Matt's body. Yeah. Right. And like, mm. essentially. So it's like general like organ failure. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a, at one point or another, like, um, Constantine and he have a conversation about like how like Constantine's trying to avoid it because like he's not like so old and like, you know, Matt's like, if I wasn't, I would. Like I would do everything I could to stop this if yes. I could, but I can't. Um, and so then, like, essentially, like, they make jokes about, like, dying. They make jokes about, like, you know, cardiac arrest and that kind mm. of thing. He hates the nurse because, like, the nurse there was, like, oh, like, he shouldn't. He was having a hard time going. And so, like, they mm. prescribed laxatives. And she was, like, oh, I don't know if he should have those yet. Like, maybe we should, like, look into something else. And when they, like, went and took a look, it turns out he had, like, bowel cancer, too. Like, it was, oh, like so he's, like, I hate her. Because I didn't she have to know has, that. Yeah. yeah. She only has bad news for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nurse and bad news. <laughs> so, like, basically, like, John's like, you know, I came here to, like, you know, like, say goodbye to right, you. And, like, up. and you're being, like, the ultimate straight man right now. Uh -huh. And he's just like, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about goodbye? And he's like, I'm not going to be coming back. And he's just like, he's like, that's okay. Like, I, I totally, I get it. And, like, I appreciate you, like, bringing me, like, cigarettes and, like, alcohol to, like, you know, help me out throughout these yeah, times. Yeah, make me feel normal. And then he, like he gets up he stands up he's like no i have to do this on my feet and he shakes his hand oh and he he's just like you know like i'll see you yeah wow and you're like oh yeah Damn. and ennis is really he has he has something about friendship that he really like when he writes a book that's like yeah something he cares about he really likes to weave in that whole like okay. french i and i i really relate i like that i yeah. relate to that matt does say to him he's just like don't ever be sorry son regrets aren't worth a bugger and like that is not what John needs to hear. No, but like yeah. John holds on to that, and he's like, I've, I've, I, he's like, I, he's like, I don't know about that because I'm, I'm plenty of regrets. But right. like maybe he's right. right. And like maybe part of the reason why John keeps failing is because of his regrets. He tries to fix something, or you know what I mean? Yeah, like so he's like, overcompensating. Like he never yeah. does the right thing because of his regrets. Yeah. Right. But That's who knows? Fair. Okay. 
So then it's time to do it. He goes back to Paddington, which is like where he lived, I think, in the first series. Or like we're like, oh, mm. like, it's not. It's a bad place. It's filled <laughs> right. with bad it's like everything. A slum. No. no, it's oh. like filled with negative energy, and like oh. you never want to go in here. Uh. You nobody would want to live here. Like it's like it's it, the dig of a cave. It went to England. hell. <laughs> it went to hell. No, I mean like like you know like, like went uh. to hell in a handbasket. Right. Kind of thing. Oh, like, I see. I, I I believe most everyone there died. It's got like ghosts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So like anyway, he like he like sets up a ritual and like he summons a demon and talks to them and he's like let's talk and like is there's it just like, any demon or is it a, a well he summons a voice and okay. you see mm. you hear the voice and like basically john's like i want to make a deal mm. and so then like the deal is done he's like okay cool and like he like resets the room he gets rid of all the old candles he redoes the whole thing and he's like there's another voice essentially and like he makes a deal with them as well and he's like, <laughs> all right, as long as they don't <laughs> smell one another this should work he like he grabs a, a bottle of, of Brandon's whiskey that he took with him, mm-hmm. or was gifted to him, and like he drinks it and like he basically like says like here's to like everyone mm. and he lists off all the people who it's for like all the people he got killed, mm. all the people who had just died like his friends everyone he's like as he says I did it my way and like that's the name of this issue mm. I, I did it my way yeah. and then John's like here it comes like I'm gonna die and so he gets a razor blade and he slits his wrist oh god. Yeah. So now you see where that came from. Yes. But it's for a totally different reason than the movie. Yeah. So he slits his wrist and he's bleeding out and we see the feet, like almost like what we saw in the movie. Yes. Mm. It's not the same thing though. Mm. It's not done the same way. Um, and so like, he's just like, oh, really? really? Suicide? John, you were like right at the end. I don't understand. <laughs> like literally you were about to die and you did this? Yeah. Cool, whatever. Which is a little similar to the film. Uh-huh. And like, he's just like, that's okay. Look upon me. I bring you damnation. And, like, he's changed himself to look like Christ. And so it's blood yes. that's pouring out of him. Mm. As opposed to in the film, which is, like, some sort like of, like... Toxin like, or some t- kind of, like, Like, you know, tar. inky, yeah. oily, whatever. This is, like, he's... he's It's a mockery. Yeah, yeah. it's a... Yeah. It's a malformed version of, yeah. of, of Jesus. But this is called this is called the sting, right? And huh. he's like, okay, so, like, as he's bleeding out, this the demon's blood, the fall, the first of the fallen is bleeding out. And, like, it's, like, eating away at the floor. It's so toxic Ugh, and horrible. Oh, yikes. And he's just like, I love this page. I love this cover page or this like yeah. this title page. It's so well done. He's like, ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> Behold. Behold, I'm going to take you. Yeah. And he's just like, you know, like, oh, I've got such plans for you, John. I have such plans. I have such sights I've to show you. I've got such sights. Damn like, it. It's going to be excruciating. I can't say that. Damn it. Damn you, Hellraiser. John is even just like, oh, is it worse than having a gut full of holy water? Like, he can't help <laughs> yeah. himself. Nah. He's, just, he's like, oh, you're going to regret saying that. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And then he's like, and John's like, oh, man, you know, you notice that it's getting a little dark? And he's like, what do you, what, what do you, what do you mean? And, like, he looks over, and there are two other beings in the room. Mm-hmm. And it's the second of the fallen and the third of the fallen. Uh-huh. And, he's just, and they both are like, we've come here to, like, to, like, each of them say they've come to claim John's soul. Right. Right. And, like, <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> Uh, what the hell is what's, this? What's hilarious is that like the like so the first of the fallen comes I can like looks can look like an attractive man he comes like in the garb or in the guise of Jesus or like you know a mockery of that yes. the second of the fallen is just an inky blackness Yikes. and then the third of the fallen I think it's the third yeah the third of the fallen was like what I came I came as the thing that was killing him I'm I'm like a cancer. <laughs> hey, we're still <laughs> we're still claiming John. I'm the cancer that took him. Where, what, what the hell I dr- I dressed up because like he's like the, the the demon of like a like a thousand faces essentially. Yeah. So you can take the guise of anything, but he's like oh. That's way more funny. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. freaking awesome. Oh sorry, a billion faces. The Lord of a billion, a billion faces. faces. One Sorry. of those being cancer. One of them being that. Sure. And so, like, essentially, like, he's like, whoa, 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 Const- what did you do, Constantine? Yeah. Hey. What did you do? What gives? Well, and he's like, I- well, he over here, he wrote me out of this. <laughs> John's like, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, he's like, okay, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. You guys go back. Like, first of all, he's like, you two go back. Okay. I, I had yeah. dealings with him first. I he called He insulted dibs. me, and that's as good as a contract. Right. Mm. In hell. Like, no, but we actually verbally made a contract. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which literally is a contract. Which, is a contract. Is which a trumps like... being as good as one. <laughs> <laughs> right? We're from hell. We know legalese here, pal. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
So basically, John like kind of puts a little pressure on on the wound. Oh, like advances mm, to his like, death. No, 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 no. He's holding it off. Yeah. He's, like, oh. he's like, here we go. Yeah. And basically, the the gist of the whole conversation that happens, which is spectacular, and it's like it's a great read of like just these three demons like yelling it and like <laughs> snipping at each other and trying to prove to one another like Did they that. Get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And like literally, the two, like the second and the third of the fallen, didn't know what happened to the first. He's like, "Oh, you didn't tell them? Oh, yeah. let me tell them. Yeah. Let me mock you in front of them." Right. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> "You let him trick you? Right? You let you were tricked? You're, we you're, were tricked into doing a deal with you. You're the lord of you're, of, you're like what are the lord of lies? And you were tricked by a like a man. Yeah. Nah, that's, <laughs> <fair. laughs> that's worth it. All right. Good luck." <laughs> and so essentially well, all you had to do was just go grab that soul right away yeah. you let yourself get distracted yeah, for no he's reason like, basically he's like you should have checked me like checked on me before I, you let me sign on the dotted line guys come on yeah. and yeah. so then what John, you didn't even ask if I was previously committed to a, exactly. a prior so uh, you'd, demon so you'd think that basically like they would just like all take him to hell and take turns yeah no that's not how it works mm. like, no we eat we get the specific soul. souls you yes. can't share them and the fact is <laughs> If they, if they take claim to John's soul, the three of them will have to go to war, and in doing so, it will cause a prophecy or whatever to occur in which heaven will win. Oh. Like it's, an internal civil, like if, if a hell civil war breaks out, <laughs> heaven wins de facto. Or like, or something to that effect. Like there's a prophecy that says, like when the when the three <laughs> of the fallen quibble over the soul of one regular guy. <laughs> Uh, uh, heaven will rise and hell will fall, or some, yeah, hang some on, hilarious hang on, hang thing on. like that. Yeah. I mean, it could just be a logical conclusion. No, no, it's no, like, no. They, they literally... You're barely strong enough like, united. Well, he was reading it in the grimorum or whatever. Oh, he was yeah. checking on himself uh, there. Well, let me just make sure I'm in here. Yeah, it Wait. says JC. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He checks in there that the that the insult counts as a contract. Oh. Right. That's okay. what he's checking on. He's right. like... <laughs> But yeah, so it's essentially the three of them offer, like, there's, like, the offer of allegiance for, like, a hot second, and then, like, it's like, no. Like, they can't do it. The right. first of the fallen is, like, here's the thing. He, <laughs> he, like, he's the first mortal in a millennia to beat the devil, and I can't have that. Like, mm. so they're, like, so war, and it's like, and if we do that, then, like, literally the angels will end up winning, and then they will be slaves of them. Right, And, yeah. like, so will all of humanity. Right. Kind of. It's not, it's not good for everybody. Uh-huh. <laughs> so in order to like push this a little further on, John's like, so listen, here's what I'm thinking. Um, if you're, you're gonna not, have oil here. <laughs> if you're not gonna work together, that means you're gonna have to fight, and if you fight, then you're gonna let the other side win, and I know you don't want that. Right. So you're just gonna have to save me. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to wait any longer. So he takes the blade and he cuts himself even deeper. Uh -huh. And he's like, I have maybe 30 seconds. Right. And he just falls on the ground. Oh, whoa, 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 what's this guy's problem? <laughs> <laughs> Hope it works out. Oh, you just have to save me. Right. Well, he's like, he's like, I hear in the distance the sound of rain on a roof, and I realize it's the sound of my blood hitting the floor. And like in 15 seconds, I'm going to be dead. Right. And like. I realize that, like, you know, as it's as I'm dying, I hear a woman's voice, and it's his mother. Mm. And then, like, the demons are like, okay, okay, all right, we have to save him. We have to fix this. And, like, I don't like this, but, like, essentially, like, two of them are, like, on board for saving him. The first mm -hmm. of the fallen's like, no! 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 No, it's so no nice. we have to fight! It's a fair! <laughs> he's going to trick us again! I like this, too, because he's also, like, ticking clock. Like, yeah. yep. they don't have time uh, to think about nope. it. Yep, yep. So the third of the fallen is, like, Listen, how, how, do we forget our whole thing about like better to reign? Right. Mm. Like yeah, we don't want to lose. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. Like, are we not? He's like, fine, fine. God, damn it. Yeah. And so like he ah. like he starts like the ritual that will like resurrect Constantine, and so he does. But like he does it in a way he's like, and he makes me suffer for. It. Right. Uh, <laughs> this is yeah. gonna hurt you, jerk. Yeah. Yeah. So like he rips into his chest. Like he he's Ooh. like I can feel him. Or I can hear him and feel him peeling back my ribs one at a time and then like bending up my sternum. Yeah. And like he rips out the lungs and like he grows new ones. Huh. In the movie, he just removes the cancer. Yes. No, this guy uh -huh. goes for it. Yeah. He's like, oh, but we're not done. We're not done yet, John. And so like he burns him in hellfire and then like he's reborn. Mm. And cool. like it, it's just a horrific experience. And he's yeah. like, was it painful? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. No. I figure now you guys kind of have to keep an eye on me because if something happens to me, mm. then it's war. Then it's war, and uh, I, I know you don't want that. You don't want to lose, do you? <laughs> and so, like, he's just like, cheers. And he's like, oh, 
He's like, one, one more thing, guys. Just one more thing before you leave. And he flips <laughs> him off and he says, up yours. Oh, my God. One more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which wasn't the I got you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. So then, like, we actually do a little epilogue on this, which oh, I good. really super appreciate. And, nice. like... Yeah, you need, like, that moment. That, yeah. that is a good way to end the book. Yes. Yeah. But, but, like, like if think you have about, an opportunity to kind of wrap it up... Yeah, well, think about all the questions you might have about this. <laughs> yeah, like, do, does this mean he's immortal? Does yeah. Does this mean that when he, he dies, going heaven to die? wins the war? See, like, literally, right. that was not the question that I had. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. But they do end up figuring that out later on. Uh-huh. Because, inevitably, the first of the fallen right, finds out that the second and the third are actually not on his level. And they're actually just more demons, so he kills them, and so there's no worry. Oh, right. Yeah. So, like, inevitably, that's all taken care of. Okay. Right. Yeah. No, think about the questions of more like, John just told everybody he was dying. Right. right. That was that was better great. than ever before. Yeah. yeah. So John, like, drinks himself into, like, a two-day, like, bender, essentially, uh-huh. yeah. and then, like, comes out of it the other side. He's like, oh, okay. Because, like, Oh, he... crap, I was nice to everybody I care about. What am I going to do about No. That? Well, John, <laughs> no. John has a moment of, like, I literally almost... Like, I bet it against Judgment Day and the annihilation of everything <laughs> so that I could live. Right. Yeah. I guess I am a bastard. Yeah, yeah. like, he's just like... I wonder like, if Heaven noticed. Like, what, what is the matter with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm taking this a little too far. I, I literally made it all about me. Yep. Like, <laughs> all of everything. Yeah, I mean, that's was him, about right? me. Yeah, yeah no, that's him. What's amazing is he, he get, they have the opportunity to put in here, like, but I have no sympathy for the devil. Ah. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> but like he like that's really that's what's weighing on him like mm-hmm. a he won but like just that he he just this realization that he is the big magnitude he, he, he has this did. really great like little like thought like narration bubble where he just says selfish stupid arrogant little shit mm. yeah he's like that's me <laughs> that's who i am like okay yeah you'll get over it yeah. yeah. You often do. But then he also has that realization, he's like, wait a minute. But. I bested the devil. Yeah. And I think that that's not going to bite me in the ass. Right. They are going to be watching over me to find a loophole. Right. right. Like, I'm going to be hounded forever. What? Yeah. Why did I do any of this? Yeah. Because I was afraid to die. Because you wanted to yes. live. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sort of like yeah, the man. moral of this book, like the lengths people will we'll go, go to. Yeah. 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 To get a few more years. To get a few more years. Yeah. And then even in doing, and even in helping someone because of the way he helped, the, he couldn't just stall the devil. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> he had to like. Involve two other demons. He couldn't, ha- well no, but he had to like, like with his friend. He couldn't yeah. just mm-hmm. stall the devil. No, he had to like kill him. He had to like show him. Yeah. And that's why John gets into so many. Yeah. Problems. He had to sign yep. it. Yep. Yeah. So John wanders out into the rain to get a drink. Of rain. Well, no, like I, 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 actually, I think he goes to get some food. Uh, he wants some tea uh, or, oh, or pie or something. I see. And he runs into a friend. He runs into Kit, Brendan's oh, yeah. old flame. Oh, and yeah. they and they kind of like they go to a coffee shop. They have the coffee. They kind of catch up a little bit. And on the way there, he's like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, I forgot to tell Matt. Like that's what he's worried about. Oh, he's worried about Matt. Yeah. The most at this moment because he's just like, for, he was honest with him. Don't forget, yeah. he was mm-hmm. honest with him. They shared a commonality. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I think you know John saw a little of himself in him and yes. vice versa. Yeah. And he's like, I never. He's like, he's probably dead. I never went and saw him. Instead, I went and drank myself into a super. I didn't go and see him and yeah. spend his final days with him. Right. Yeah. What the hell? So he makes the cab go to the hospital. It's like they're stuck in traffic. You know, John just jumps out of the cab and he runs like a crazy person into the hospital. And he goes into the room and there's Matt. And he's like, oh, I thought you were dead. Mm. And like, he's like, I thought you were. What, <laughs> what, what happened? He's just like, oh, no, like it, it all worked out essentially. And then like <laughs> Kit shows up and is like, hey, like, well, why don't you introduce me to your friend? And right. like, so she like is introduced to him and like, you know, is, they just have this really nice moment, and then like, like Kit offers to go get some tea, and so like she goes to leave. She leaves to get the tea, and like Matt tells him about like you know ni- nicely done, a little corker there. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's not like that. Uh, We're just friends, and he, sure. and, oh, and sure, he's like pretty. Friends. He's like pretty good uh-huh. friends, and I don't mean like that. I mean like she seems like a legitimately good friend, and mm. like you got to hang on to that. Like, mm. like friendship means something, and like you don't have you may not have a lot of friends, but the ones that matter, you got you got to hang on to them, right? And, like, friends let you, like, fail and, like, come back as, like, a mystery man. They let you disappear and they always let you come back. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's people like that who are going to be special to you in your life. 
Okay. And like, just remember that. Like, just, 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 just hang on to that. And he's like, oh, hey, could you get the nurse to give me my pill? I, I need, I need us a pill. And like, so he goes to get the nurse and then like Matt starts coughing horrifically mm. and like he's bleeding and like John like calls the nurse and they're looking and they're like, oh my gosh. So then like, he's like, the nurse is like, we got to get people in here. John just goes out of the hallway and he's like, we need help. Like he's like panicked. He's like, yeah. we need help in here. We need like someone has to help him. Like, and it just turns into like, it's a horror show. Yeah. Like Matt is like the blood, like he's everywhere. He's hemorrhaging. Yeah. They describe it like. This is where, it, like, it will probably make people feel uncomfortable because it's like he's hemorrhaging. There's like, like fluids coming out of him. He's like shitting himself. Like yeah. it's it's bad. He's dying. Yeah. Right. And so like he's screaming, and the screams become gurgles, and like, Ugh. and then he dies. And John can't stay in the room. Yeah. So he leaves. He can't listen to him die. And so John like goes out into the rain and like is alone and like essentially is like you know I didn't kill him, but like I escaped what was killing him yes and like mm. why is that fair right. why why did i feel like i was why do i get to live and he, well like yeah. why did i feel like i was more special than he was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I risked all of existence to save myself <laughs> yeah and like he's this one he's like but that's what it is to me me that's what it is to be john constantine is to do that kit goes upstairs with the t's she sees this like horror like like i said like this horror this show yeah. Vision, yeah. and then like goes out like to find him because she knows like he won't have stayed yeah <laughs> yeah and like you know, like he's like, like you should leave because like, like to be a friend of John Constantine <laughs> is to like is that is to, to be future. that is right. to like is to be hurt or worse. And she's like, I'm gonna take my chances, John. And then they like they, they the book ends with a Pogues uh, lyric, I suppose. Okay. Mm. Saying we watched our friends grow up together and we saw them as they fell. Some of them fell into heaven and some of them fell into hell. Mm. And of course, the Pogues being an Irish band. Naturally. Um. And it's how to end it with that. Right. <laughs> so it's a book about friendship. It's a oh, book at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it is. A, it is a book about friendship and just friendship. Yeah. It's just it's just a happy-go-lucky yeah. romp through what friendship really is. It's like and, a gift for yeah. your friend. If you ever want to like help out your friend, you yeah. give them this. Tell them it means a lot to you. And it's definitely not a book about facing the end and being afraid of it. Mm. Right. And no, what sad. desperate lengths you'll go to. Yep. To convince yourself that it's not ending. Yes, but it, like it. I think this really informs a lot of people as to what. John Constantine is. Uh, literally, at mm -hmm. the end, he says, "This book is what it yeah, means." Yeah, this to is be what it is. Me. But yeah. I mean, like, it really like solidifies like a, he's a bastard and like in everything. But like, <clears throat> Ennis is like, "This is what he is," and like, this was Ennis's big splashy entryway into this. By the way, that girl Ellie, yes. that demon Ness, mm -hmm. succubus, whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Will, what to her? And well, <laughs> whatever happened to yeah, that succubus? Happened to Ellie actually has like a, a story later on that um, I, Ennis writes about her in which she has a relationship with an angel. Oh, no. Oh. And they have a new idea? No. <laughs> no, actually, I, it does not end well for anybody. Oh. But it's Didn't that... Didn't it end well for the angel and the demon in, a, that is, in Preacher? That either. is the concept that will take him on to, like, spark that. Yeah. Hmm. I seem to recall that being the tale. Yeah. That he, like, had the idea, tried it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like... Ugh! But didn't take it as far. No. Like, you know, but yeah. So, and that's Ellie. Right. So Ellie is the Wow, succubus. Ellie is like the mother of the new idea, essentially. Yeah. Or at least, you know, the yeah. proto mother. Yeah. I think the, the I think the angel's creature. called like Tali or something like that. So Okay. He's killed. He yeah. dies. I, yeah, they're slaughtered for their trouble in the uh, yeah, in the preacher so, book too. Yeah, it happens. So yeah, this is Hellboy. What do you think? What do you think of John? It is very, very human. cool. Yeah, very human. Right? For being a character steeped in supernatural, mm -hmm. he is above and beyond. Yeah human yeah, yeah. The, the 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 honesty by which he is portrayed is uh <laughs> I was like, what is happening? unmatched yes like i haven't seen a character be this you know the, the, this is honestly or earnestly portrayed in a, in a comic book in a yeah. long time where it's like this is who this is what a person would probably be like and it's this person who's like who is a who is a contradiction? Yeah, like, I will risk like the damnation of mankind mm -hmm. to save myself and feel bad about it, but not bad enough to punish to, myself or over to it. learn from or it. Right? Yeah. Well, like you know, I'm he just learns about keep it. Doing just, it. Yeah. I, I learned all these lessons. I'm just not going to apply them because yeah. they don't apply to me. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. It is absolutely true. Yeah, because he doesn't have like a list of rules in his head that he he doesn't have like a credo. Mm -mm. It's just more like he has experiences and he learns from them in terms of he knows what certain experiences are going to do and feel. Yeah. But he's like helpless 
to stop them from still happening. Yeah. Because he is what he is. Yep. No, for sure. Like he's, he's a he's a he's a vertigo version of Popeye. He is what he is. Less like the kind of horror of like you know vampires. No, it's like existential and horror. Yeah, more, yeah. <laughs> Less the horror of like bug based demons that give you an insatiable <laughs> hunger while eating you alive until you like desperately try to like eat anything tablecloths people themselves <laughs> until you basically like are emaciated and like die oh like cool. from like in tribal hunger yeah, which less like that that's what you'll find in here no. this is more like the horror of the thing we're all marching towards right fair enough <laughs> yikes every day is a step closer people yeah. hellblazer um, unless you're john right in which case you will find some way to cheat the devil the devils you don't know yeah you yeah. can borrow if you want i, I might I, I might you oh, might you might, I, uh, <laughs> you might. Uh, but yeah check that description box down below not only for that but all sorts of other fun things that might be down there I, 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 some tricks and treats i suppose i don't know i don't know what's down there yet just links oh they scary? No. Damn. Well, one of them's to Facebook, so yeah. <gasps> Woo! Uh, we'll see you guys next time on, on the orange couch here. Because it's Halloween. <laughs> oh! oh! I'm Tiffany. I'm Sal. And I'm Ethan. Bye, guys.